What do you think, uh, what will happen if today you were accessing google.com with an IP address? You were accessing Facebook, Gmail, Hotmail and all other domains with IP address. So instead of typing google.com, you were typing 199666333, not 66, sorry, it's not, it's not in the, in the uh, IP addressing. So, um, so how? That was actually going to be um, a big problem because it's really hard to remember IP addresses. And IP addresses are always uh, hard to remember. That's why we have DNS, which actually helps us um, uh, type a name instead of IP addresses. And it actually, DNS results IP to the name and name to the IP. So that's what it does. And um, DNS lookup can actually be performed by any device. So you can go to any device and then you can type NS lookup and then it will actually uh, perform the lookups for you, which we will be doing in our labs. And then when it comes to DNS, DNS actually have um, two zones, forward lookup zone, reverse lookup zone in Windows Server. And uh, forward lookup zone contains names with associated IP address. For example, if you have a machine called machine one, uh, it will contain the name of the machine and then the associated IP address. And then um, it enables forward lookup queries. So when you type um, uh, ping uh, host one dot uh, host one and then enter what it does is it uh, it performs those queries it converts that uh, name into IP address for you and replies from that IP address and then at least one forward lookup zone must be configured for the DNS to work so you should have one forward lookup zone or else your DNS will not work um, and then Active Directory Installation Wizard will can also automatically install. We already saw that and we did install DNS. And then Reserve Lookup actually contains IP addresses with associated DNS names. So for example, if I tell you, hey, uh, I have an IP address of 10.1.1.1, can you tell me the name? You can actually do Reverse Lookup and then type uh, ping 10.1.1.1 and then um, you can type minus a where it will actually uh, give you um, the name of that host and then uh, when it comes to DNS there is another zone called Active Directory Integrated Zone so uh, all the information for your DNS is actually stored in Active Directory it is replicated with Active Directory and then um, uh, Active Directory zones are multi-master. It uh, what it means is like it can be sent to all domain controllers, so that whatever changes you make, it's not local. The DNS settings will be sent to other domain controllers too. Um, it can it can be sent to DNS servers in the other domains, in and then in the in the forest too, and then. Uh, you can you can send those information in a encrypted way so you have like security there and then fault tolerance is also provided and security is provided too meaning that if the DNS server is no longer functioning you have another DNS that is working uh, for you so active directory integrated zones are very very recommended when you have active directory installed and then DNS have like record types and then those record types are a host record. So a host records are where you have all your host names and then the IP addresses mappings. And then we have CNAME or alias. It is also called canonical names. And we have mail exchanger that is used for mail exchanger. So any exchange server you install, you are also install having a mail exchanger record. That's how you are actually sending and receiving emails. You have name servers, list of name servers for the domain. So all your name servers that you have um, uh, for your domains, it will be actually in there. And then you have pointer records, PTR records that you are using. And um, you have SRV um, records where we have like um, it identifies servers hosting service and we have like SOA startup authority it identifies authoritative sources for us.